Our next destination brings us to Amarillo, Texas, where I have always wanted to go and visit. And Route 66 runs through there. So there was part of Route 66 that I wanted to see starting there and then head over to Arizona so we could go back to our friend Jerry's house and pick up our bike. The first night we went to the Big Texan Steakhouse. The local KOA has a limo service that picks you up at your site, takes you to the Big Texan, and then brings you back. That was fantastic. We really appreciated that. The next day, we went to the Panhandle Plains Museum. We were really enjoying our time, looking at all the different exhibits about the westward expansion. And then our final exhibit we looked at was on the uh, history of Route 66, which was super cool. Then all of a sudden, this gentleman comes upstairs and says, there's a tornado warning in the area and you need to either go to the basement or you need to go back to your homes and take care of your family. Well, our dogs were in the truck. So like any true Midwesterner, we went out to the truck and went to the Walmart parking lot and we rode the storm out. As you can see from this TV report later, we're lucky that we did not have the tornado go through our park. No one was hurt, so that's the good news, but their camper sure got tore up. The next day, we headed downtown to the historic district of Route 66 in Amarillo, where we went to a very cool bar called Smokey Joe's, and the locals there welcomed us in just like friends. very cool group and our kind of people and we sure thank them for their hospitality and we look forward to going back to Smokey Joe's. The next day it was back on to Route 66 where we hit the Midpoint Cafe which is halfway between Chicago and Los Angeles. We had to stop there and take some pictures and then back on Route 66 for a little history. If you ever get the opportunity just to take your time and travel down Route 66, there's some really cool things to see. Outside of Grants, New Mexico, where we stayed at a new um, Harvest Host place, we decided to go to the National Park. There was a snowstorm originally at the top of the mountain when we got there, but it cleared out and we were able to see the arch, able to drive her all the way around the mountain and do a little hike with the dogs and it was beautiful. We then stayed for a Harvest Host location at the Route 66 Junkyard and Brewery. It was very cool. The Junkyard has been in operation for over 50 years and the brewery for about 15. These are some of the pictures of the cars that he has restored and it was a really interesting place. After a great night's sleep at the junkyard and brewery, said no one ever, we, we headed back out onto Route 66 to Holbrook, Arizona, where we checked out the painted desert, painted rocks, and the petrified forest. We spent the next two days driving around just in awe of the view and the beauty, and things that we had never even known existed, and took lots and lots of pictures. I hope you enjoy them.
I am so intrigued with this area, including the Route 66 memorabilia, the Wigwam Hotel, which from the movie Cars was the Cozy Cone. We had to stop there and take a picture, and we also got a picture with Toe Mater's grandpappy, and we had a good time while we were there. See you next time. Like, subscribe, bye. Said last time we had a big announcement to make, so this is it. John, Ace, and I are all going to be spending May to October working at the Westgate KOA in Yellowstone. Let the adventure continue.